A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a shocking revelation, the United States Secret Service has acknowledged a series of egregious security failures during a campaign rally for former President Donald Trump on July 13, 2024, where an assassination attempt left Trump wounded and tragically resulted in the death of a rally attendee. An internal review conducted by the agency has pinpointed crucial deficiencies in security planning and communication that ultimately compromised the safety of one of the nation's top political figures. Acting Director of the Secret Service, Ronald Rowe, addressed these failures during a press briefing, emphasizing that while some agents displayed diligence, a significant degree of complacency among others led to a breach of established security protocols. The implications of this lapse have reverberated throughout the political landscape, raising pressing questions about the competence and accountability of the elite law enforcement agency. The July rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, was meant to be a showcase of Trump's campaign as he vies for the presidency once more. However, the event turned into a scene of chaos when a gunman, identified as Thomas Matthew Crooks, opened fire from a nearby rooftop, narrowly missing Trump and hitting three individuals in the crowd, including a 50-year-old firefighter named Corey Compertor, who tragically lost his life. In the aftermath of the shooting, the Secret Service faced widespread criticism for its failure to adequately secure the area and respond swiftly to the threat. Congressional officials have expressed outrage over the agency's inability to act on warnings about the shooter, who had been spotted by local law enforcement up to 20 minutes before the attack. Rose comments during the briefing laid bare the agency's shortcomings, stating, This was a failure on the part of the United States Secret Service. It's important that we hold ourselves to account for the failures of July 13th, and that we use the lessons learned to make sure that we do not have another failure like this again. The Secret Service's internal report, spanning five pages, highlighted several key failures, including poor communication with local law enforcement, an over-reliance on mobile devices for critical information, and the failure to address line-of-sight issues that allowed the shooter to target Trump with relative ease. Rowe noted that while the building from which the shooter fired had been identified as a potential threat, the agency did not take appropriate countermeasures, such as deploying snipers to the roof. Instead, only a tactical team from local law enforcement was stationed on the second floor, a decision that proved to be gravely inadequate. The ramifications of these failures have led to significant personnel changes within the agency. Following the incident, the former director, Kimberly Cheadle, resigned, and several agents have been placed on leave as the agency grapples with the fallout from this security breach. The Congressional Task Force investigating the assassination attempt has urged Roe to ensure accountability among employees and to cooperate fully with their independent investigation. In a statement, the task force asserted, complacency has no place in the Secret Service. As a direct response to the security failures, Roe has called for increased funding, personnel, and equipment to facilitate a paradigm shift in the agency's approach to security, moving from a reactive stance to one of proactive readiness. In a significant legislative development, the U.S. House of Representatives unanimously passed a bill aimed at enhancing Secret Service protection for presidential candidates, elevating their security to the same level as that of sitting presidents and vice presidents. The bill is currently awaiting a vote in the Senate and a signature from President Joe Biden before it can be enacted into law. Roe confirmed that, in light of the recent events, Trump is now receiving the same level of protection as the sitting president, a necessary adjustment given the heightened threat environment surrounding political figures. This need for increased security was further underscored by a separate incident on September 15, 2024, when another apparent assassination attempt on Trump occurred at his golf course in West Palm Beach, Florida. In that instance, a gunman was apprehended by Secret Service agents before any shots were fired. Roe commented on the ongoing threats facing Trump, stating, What occurred on Sunday demonstrates that the threat environment in which the Secret Service operates is tremendous. The revelations from the Secret Service review have sparked a national conversation about the adequacy of security measures in place for political figures, particularly as the nation heads into a contentious election season. As the agency works to rebuild its reputation and restore public trust, the focus remains on accountability and the implementation of effective measures to prevent future security breaches. The stakes have never been higher, and the need for a competent and vigilant Secret Service is paramount in ensuring the safety of those who seek to lead the nation. 
As the investigation continues and new policies are put in place, citizens and political leaders alike will be watching closely to see how the agency responds to these serious challenges and whether it can regain the confidence of the American people. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.